Shalom. May the Most High Yahweh bless you and your families. So, before we get into this, I want to go ahead and say, right? I love all kinds of people because, you know, recently they've been people, you know, random people on YouTube and on Facebook just leaving comments, all right? You know, trying to basically say that I'm like everybody else out there. You know, like all these other Hebrew Israelites that they hate all kinds of people. Well, no, I'm not like that, all right? Let's understand that. We're different, okay? We're totally different from these other Hebrew Israelites out there, all right? We're not in no camps. We're not in no cults or nothing like that. Like I keep telling you people, all right? So stop comparing us, those who love the Most High Yahweh. Stop comparing us to those Hebrew Israelites out there, okay? Because the Most High talked about those people out there. You understand that? All right, the difference with me and those people out there is that I love all people. I give people chances, all right? People are the one that messes it up for themselves, okay? I'm not your God, but I'm gonna judge you using the words of God. And I don't care whether you like it or not. You can say that I can't judge you all you want, right? But guess what though? I'm still gonna judge you. I don't give a shit how much you say I can't judge you, that only God can judge you. Well, guess what? God gave me permission to judge you. How you like that? Okay? So if you don't like it, then guess what? Then you will be captured. You will be burnt by the fire that is coming. Okay? So let's understand something here. I love all kinds of people. All right? White people, black people, Chinese people, Arab people. Okay? All kinds of people. All colors. All right? But guess what, though? I don't love you people more than I love the Most High Yahweh. You see that? Just like I don't love my mommy, my daddy, my brother, my sister, my wife, my child more than I love Yahweh. okay? I love the Most High Yahweh above all things in my life. But that's how I feel. Alright, that's how I am. You ain't me, okay? You can't walk in my shoes, alright? So that's why you can't do what I do. Understand that, okay? So I just want to go ahead and just put that out there because, you know, you got people out there that's trying to make it seem like I'm just like every other Israelite out there that base off, you know, I'm basically trying to base my doctrine, because how they say my doctrine, right? This ain't my doctrine. These are the most highest words. So they like to say that I base my doctrine off skin color and off of gender and off of uh, nationality. No, it has nothing to do with that. But we're going to find out something. We're going to learn, okay, that who you call Jesus Christ. That is the white man's God, and I don't care how you feel about that. You see what I'm saying? Does that make me racist because I say Jesus is the white man's God? No, it's the truth, okay? It's the facts, all right? The Native Americans wasn't worshiping no damn Jesus Christos, all right? The Tainos wasn't worshiping no Jesus Christos. Columbus came and taught them that bullshit. You understand that? They were the ones who taught the, the Spanish tribes religion and Christianity all right but before that what it was it was the most high Yahweh alone it was keeping his laws see that that's what the natives were doing the natives were keeping the laws of the most high Yahweh all right the Israelites were keeping the laws of the most high Yahweh over there in the land and then what happened and the Syrians took over and then the Babylonians and so on and so forth right okay so let's understand that you're Jesus Christ all right and this is for you so-called white people out there, right? For for the ones, all right? Not all white people. Because like I said, not all you white people are the same. Just like not all of not all of us Israelites are the same, okay? All right? So you want to play a fair game? We can play a fair game, all right? So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. You so-called white people, you got your God already. Your God is Jesus Christ, all right? Without your Jesus Christ, there's no, there's no, there's no deliverance for you, basically, okay? So this is how these people feel. So when you tell them about their Jesus Christ, when you tell them that their Jesus Christ is fake, guess what? They feel like, oh shit, you can't tell me that, because then how, how am I going to be saved? I mean, how can I be saved? All salvation is through Jesus Christ, right? So they feel bugged out when you tell them that Jesus is not real, because that's their God. You see what I'm saying? That's not the God for the Israelites. We don't have to worship your Jesus. You want to worship Jesus? You go ahead. That's your God. Okay, that's the white man's God. All right, so all you white people out there that's trying to, you know, what I mean, justify your Jesus Christ. All right, and, and I don't care whether you're white, black, Chinese, whoever you are, trying to justify your Jesus Christ. Okay, understand that you're worshiping the other nation's God. All right, you're worshiping Esau's God. Okay, Esau made Jesus Christ. All right, how about that? You want to stick up for Jesus Christ so much 
You're sticking up for your oppressors, God. All right? Does that make me racist? Well, what does racist mean? It means to be for my own race, right? Well, I am for the human race. You see that? I am for the human race. All right? Because Esau is a, is a wild animal. He's not a human. He's not a man. The Most High calls him a beast. So how can he be a man? How can he be for his own race? He's not for his own race, okay? So, you know, those that the Most High Yahweh has put his word in, in, his mouth, in their mouth to teach to you people out there, you should take heed to it, all right? Instead of, instead of trying to, you know, justify your wickedness, because that's all you're doing is justifying your wickedness, all right? You want to leave me bullshit comments and try to justify how he died on the cross for your sins and my sins. And, no, he died for you, all right? Okay? I know who's my God. You understand that? You can't try to feed me your bullshit anymore. Are you understand that? All right? If you can't understand that Jesus Christ is fake, then oh well. Keep worshiping him. And you're going to find out in due time that he's fake. You're going to learn that he's fake. You're going to understand who is the true God of all mankind. You see that? So you keep worshiping him. But as you trying to tell me about him, don't even bother wasting your time with me. Okay? Because I know who's my God. That's your God. All right? Jesus Christ was for you, so-called white people. All right? Because you so-called white people are the ones who are oppressing us. You see that? It has nothing to do with being racist. It has everything to do with being a, 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 a factist, okay? A factist, if that's even a word, all right? Okay? We like facts, all right? We like facts, all right? So let's understand that. I was in some Hebrew Israelite camps. I was cursing out white people for no damn reason. I was cursing out uh, 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 Chinese people for no reason. But guess what? I'm not doing that now. See that? Okay? I'm not cursing nobody out because what it means to curse. Curse means to hope, to wish bad on somebody. See that? Okay? So fuck bitch and ass and all that. That's not curses. Those are just bad words. It's a rude speech. You don't like it? Oh, well, get over it. Okay? Or change your, your tampon. All right? How about that? Okay? So Jeremiah 23 and 14, it says, And among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen something horrible. Okay? They commit adultery and have a lot, sorry, and live a lie. You see that? All right, so all these prophets out there that's out there week in and week out and that's on 34th Street and that's on 42nd Street and that's all over the world, right? And all four corners of the earth, right? Preaching, right? Telling you lies, all right? And, 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 and right there in the corner, in the corner of, around the hood, you got those little church, right? Around the corner for when you live, you got those churches, all right? Whether you live in the hood or whether you live in a nice neighborhood, right? You have churches around your, in your area, don't you? Okay. So this is what we're talking about. See that? All right? Our people, the Israelites, those who the words were given to. You see that? We're not talking about you damn so-called white people out there. We're not talking about Paul Begley on YouTube. We don't give a shit about them. They're not prophets of Jerusalem. Those are Esau's prophets. Are you stupid? We're not going to get those people out there mixed up with our people. You see what I'm saying? Because the words was given to who? Israel. Do you understand that? The words were given to Israel. All right? So all you people out there that got your own God, go worship your own God. We're going to see. We're going to see, though. In due time, okay, we're going to see what God has the right answer. We're going to see who, who, who is the Savior of all the world, okay? Because there, there's only one God, and there's only one Savior of mankind. And if you're not calling on His name, you won't be saved. How about that? You won't get deliverance. How about that? See, we're living in a time where all of this is going to play out before your eyes. And the people who were telling you so, guess what? When that time happens, we're not going to be around to tell you anymore. Because we gave you the warning. You didn't want to take heed, that's your problem. You want to worship another man's God? That's fine. You go ahead and worship a false God. Okay? So it says, And among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen something horrible. They commit adultery and live a lie. They strengthen the hands of evildoers, so that none of them turned from their wickedness. See, look what it says here. They are all like Sodom to me. Why? Because they worship Osiris Rod, who is Jebus Christ, who is Idol Shai, whether he's white, black, Chinese, Arab, it don't matter how you got your Jesus. But if you're worshiping him, the Most High Yahweh, our God, the God of the true Israelites, he said that he looks at you people like Sodomites. Do you see that? Okay? So you're bowing down to a rod. You're worshiping a rod. You are called, right? A male shrine prostitute, according to the scriptures. See? So you don't have to be doing the physical acts of a male shrine prostitute, but you're spiritually doing the acts of a male shrine prostitute. By what? By spiritually fornicating with other gods and false deities. You see how that goes? 
So you're living a lie. The Most High said he has seen this repulsive thing among you people who call yourselves Israelites. So you see what I'm saying? You people out there who are trying to refer us, right? The sincere brothers and sisters who love Yahweh alone, right? You're trying to basically make it seem like we are just like everybody else out there. Well, no, 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 no. Because we don't worship your God first and foremost. We don't do the things that these people out there are doing, okay? We actually live this life, okay? While everybody else is trying to make mockery of it and everybody else is trying to fit in our shoes, we are actually living. We are actually suffering for righteousness. You see that? Okay. So it says, and among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen something horrible. The Most High have seen it already. There's nothing you people could do, okay? Your sins, you cannot hide them. They have been revealed to the Most High already, and now he is casting his judgment, and salvation shall come for those who deserve salvation. We're living in the days of judgment, in case you haven't woken up. So it says, and among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen something horrible. They commit adultery and have lived a lie. They strengthen the hands of evildoers, so that not one of them turns from their wickedness. They are all like Sodom to me. The people of Jerusalem, like Gomorrah, okay? So this is how the Most High feels about his own people, his own inheritance. Furthermore, <laughs> how do you think he feels about the other nations that worship Jebus, guys? How do you think he feels when you so-called white people are trying to tell the Israelites that Jesus is their God? Huh? The Most High says, these are your days, Esau, for you and your descendants. You try to give us that lie, well, guess what? Now the Most High is going to give right back to you. He's going to deliver what you deserve right onto your own head, Esau. And there's nothing you can do about it now. You see that? Okay. Verse 15, it says, Therefore, this is what Yahweh Almighty says, Concerning the prophets, I will make them eat bitter food and drink poisoned waters. You see that? So the Most High says that you prophets out there that are leading his people astray, and all you prophets out there that are eating from the bitter tree the most high says that you shall be consumed in it that he will give your mind over to that bitter tree that you will eat bitterness the rest of your life and you will drink poison waters the rest of your life why that says because from the prophets of jerusalem ungodliness has spread throughout the land you see that okay it says, because from the prophets of jerusalem ungodliness has spread throughout the land so you people okay have brought this abomination into the temple of the Most High, trying to feed the Israelites some damn bullshit false Jebus Geist, the white man's God. You try to bring that into the temple of the Most High, the Most High says, you have something to pay now. You and Esau, okay? That's why it tells you in Malachi that Judah has committed an abomination. They have brought the white man's God into our temple. They have brought these vile images into the temple of the Most High. The Most High says, whoever it may be, may you be removed from the tent of Jacob. So you're not part of this, okay? You're not part of this. You can't call yourself an Israelite if you're worshiping Jesus. I don't give a shit how much you don't like it, all right? The Most High said that this heritage belongs to us, to those who love Yahweh, not you people who worship Jesus, okay? Go worship the white man's God, all right? This is what Yahweh Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. You see that? How do they fill you with false hopes? Because they tell you, for as long as you believe in the only begotten Son who died for everyone's sin, that you will have salvation. That is a lie. So they say that they fill you, right? They fill you with false hopes. Because that's what, that's what it is. That's what false hopes is. It's blurred lines. It's lies they're feeding you, okay? And you people believe it. Like the simpletons that you are. Okay? The simpletons that you are. You got the nerve to comment all day long and try to justify your damn Jeebus guys, but you have no answers to prove it. You have no nothing to back it up except to bring it out of the own the own the very own New Testament itself. There's nothing you people could do to further back up that the most high Yahweh has 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 got one only begotten son who was gonna die for everybody's sin never can you back it up but you have all the answers in the world right you people are just feeding people with false hopes okay you're worshiping the other nation's god 
who is Azazel. This is why it says all sin go back to Azazel, because the whole world was going to be worshiping Azazel in different forms. Whether he looks white, whether he looks black, whether he looks Chinese, you're going to be worshiping the scapegoat. You're going to be worshiping Azazel himself. You see that? So the Most High says that the whole world has been corrupted by Azazel, and you people worship him. Okay, why? Because your pastor told you he died on the cross for you. You're simple. Okay, so it says this is what Yahweh Almighty says. Do not listen. It says do not listen. The Most High says do not listen. It says it again. This is what Yahweh Almighty says. You see that? Not me, but who? Yahweh Almighty says do not listen. Okay, do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of Yahweh. You see that? Not from the mouth of Yahweh. They want to fill you with false hopes. They keep saying to those who despise me, look at this now. They keep saying to those who despise me, Yahweh says, you will have peace. You see that? So they're speaking blasphemy in the name of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? They keep saying to those who despise me, Yahweh says, you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say, no harm will come to you. Do you see this? This is what's going on right now. Why? Because as long as you believe in the only begotten son of the Most High, you are okay. No harm will come to you. Why? Because all salvation is in Jesus, guys. Right? Right? Well... That's the stubbornness of your own heart. That's the evil that's in you. That's consuming you. It says, But which of them have stood in the council of Yahweh to see or hear this word? Huh? So which of you has stood in the council of Yahweh to see or to hear his word? Who has listened? Huh? Because the Most High says you have ears to hear, but you don't perceive. You, you have eyes to see, but you're still blind. All right? So it says, who has listened and heard his word? I mean, the Most High said that this is a generation who is going to have the spirit of slumber on them. But for some reason, some way, somehow, these people got all the answers, right? They got all the answers, but the Most High spoke about your rebellious generation. He said that you were going to have the spirit of slumber. He said that you was going to be, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, faithless, all right? A wicked and faithless generation. You see that? Dude, that's the type of generation we're living now. You people are blind, right? You people are groping in dark, okay? Because you're seeking for another savior, all right? When the Most High told you who was your savior, he told the Israelites who was their God and who was their savior. You see that? So now all the other nations, right? They're being dismayed at the stars and at the sun and the moon. And they want answers because the stars and the sun and the moon can't give them no answers. You see that? Well, guess what, though? This bread right here that the Most High gave us is for the Israelites. See that? If you ain't an Israelite, then get the hell out of here. Just that simple. If you're not going to worship the Most High Yahweh, then get the hell out of here. What are you doing? You got your God. Go worship your Jesus Christ they gave you. You see that? That's your God. <laughs> well, you want to come over here. Why are you trying to take the, the bread that the Most High gave us, right? Remember, the Most High says he set that table for us in the presence of our enemies. So Esau is our enemy because he's the enemy of the Most High. The Most High said, Esau have I hated and Jacob have I loved. You see that? Is that racist? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's being fair, okay? Because Esau hates the Most High. That's why he worships Jebus. Esau's descendants hate the Most High. That's why they worship Jebus. See that? Because none of you so-called white people are going to stand firm for the Most High Yahweh. Not one of you people are going to go ahead and make a video saying that Yahweh is the true name. Why? Because you still got Jebus Geist in your heart. Because that's your God. That's the white man's God. So go worship your God. How about that? And when shit hit the fan, you're going to see. You're going to see how much of your Jebus Geist okay you're gonna see how much how much he could do for you so it says but which of them has stood in the council of Yahweh to see or hear his word who has listened and heard his word you haven't heard it because you don't know it you don't know his words all right 
So let's continue here. Jeremiah 23 and 19. See the storm of Yahweh will burst out in a wrath and whirlwind swelling down on the heads of the wicked. Okay? On the heads of Esau. 